So I recently just completed the Andrew Ng Machine Learning Specialization course on Coursera. This course has collaborations with both Stanford University and also Deep Learning AI. So when I first took the course, there was a lot of commotion surrounding the value it brought, if this course was beneficial at all, or if it would lead to a job offer down the line. This video will answer all of those questions and more. I want to start off by answering the most frequent question I get surrounding this certification. Will this be able to replace my four-year degree or a boot camp? In short, my answer is no. A four-year degree in a boot camp is more valuable to employers if that's the route you want to take. However, in terms of learning outcomes and what you will learn, the value you get from this three-month course is so much more beneficial than a four-year degree or a boot camp in my opinion. Like I said before, uh, typical machine learning jobs or data science jobs require higher education like master's degree or PhDs. So this certification alone is not gonna be enough. However, the value it brings, the course content and the lecture is amazing. Honestly, if I could go back in time and start my data journey all over again, this would be one of the few courses I would take. I think it's an amazing course and it definitely did help me throughout my data journey and it also helped me land my full-time job. I'll talk about that more at the end of the video. Also, if you watched my previous video reviewing the Google Data Analytics certification, that was more of an introductory or entry-level certification towards the field of data. However, this certification is a little bit more advanced and it requires a little bit more understanding of code and high school level math. It basically covered every single class I've took on machine learning throughout my four-year degree program. And some of these classes were master's level classes for machine learning and AI. In addition to that, because the certification has both collaborations with Stanford University and deep learning AI, it will definitely be a good conversation starter during your interviews. Also, for those of you who don't know, Andrew Ng is a profound individual in the field of machine learning, especially in the 21st century. He's also the founder and CEO of Landing AI and also founded Deep Learning AI and is the co-founder of Coursera. He was also the chief scientist at Baidu and also the founder and lead for the Google Brain Project. Currently, he's an adjunct professor at Stanford University. His machine learning course at Stanford is well known worldwide and is currently available for free on YouTube. For those of you who don't know him, I recommend you guys look him up and try to understand his reputation a little bit so that you understand the weight the certification carries. I personally surveyed his machine learning course from Stanford University on YouTube before committing to this Coursera certification just to get a high level understanding of what to expect. He's an excellent professor and has an incredible talent when it comes to teaching. Although machine learning, deep learning, and AI are pretty high level subjects with various different complex prerequisites like linear algebra, differential equations, object-oriented programming, and many others, Andrew managed to teach the subjects and topics in such a way that was coherent and yet easy to understand. The estimated duration to complete this course is approximately two months with a pace of 10 hours a week, but it took me less than two weeks to complete this course with a pace of four hours a day. I was taking on a machine learning intense project at work, so I decided to take on this uh, course on the side just so that I could test the validity of the course. The current cost for the certification is $59 a month at the time of this recording. It is hosted on Coursera, so you can take advantage of Coursera Plus and take on other courses at the same time. Or you can also apply for one of the many scholarships Coursera offers so that you can ease that financial burden. I believe you also get a one week free trial with Coursera. So if you wanna try and uh, complete this whole course within the span of a week, feel free to do so. However, I recommend that you take the time to truly understand the concepts because the concepts are foundational and are required for high level or advanced machine learning AI models. One of the best things about this course is that it's taught in Python, not MATLAB or R and it has a lot of assessments and labs to test your skills. Some of the libraries used include Pandas, NumPy, Scikit-Learn, and as we get into neural nets, TensorFlow. I'm a massive Python advocate, so I'm glad they chose Python over R or MATLAB. So this course is essentially taught in three parts, a section for supervised learning, a section for unsupervised learning, and also a section for advanced algorithms. They go through most of the common classification, regression, and also clustering models. As I mentioned before, the foundations of this course is extremely important, so make sure you understand basic concepts like uh, linear regression and binary classification. He also explains concepts like gradient descent to help improve our models and overcome high variance or high bias. Like I mentioned before, each course has assessments, quizzes, and labs to help you practice and understand each skill better. The nice thing about this is that if you're already familiar with the content of each course, you can just take the quiz at the end to skip and move forward to the next one. However, coming from someone who has already taken many classes in machine learning and AI, I still found it very beneficial to go through all the assessments and labs. If you're short on time, I recommend you focus your attention to the supervised learning learning and advanced algorithm courses. This is because 95% of the time you'll be utilizing concepts and algorithms from these two categories, including uh, logistic regressions, uh, random forests, and neural nets. Speaking of neural nets, he goes over multiple examples, including convolutional neural networks, artificial neural networks, and also multi-layer perceptrons. He breaks down these black box algorithms in such a way that it's easy to understand, also digestible. The biggest downfall of this course, however, is the absence of a case study or a capstone project at the end. For many of you who are just getting into the field of data, the best way to learn, in my opinion, is through application. Yes, the assessments and lab sessions definitely did help, 
but I think a better way to solidify the concepts learned and also showcase the skills you've learned is through a case study or a caption project that you can display on your portfolio. Coming from experience, having an end-to-end -end development to deployment machine learning project on your resume definitely does make you stand out. However, I do understand that it might be difficult and also resource heavy to implement such a project, so the labs and also the assessments just have to do. That being said, I do recommend you check out platforms like Kaggle so that you can apply these skills, work with some cool data sets, and also display your work on that platform. This will also help you learn other skills or tools that you can use to improve your models altogether. One thing I learned from using machine learning in the real world is data quality is a key component to the effectiveness of your model. If the data you use is just not accurate, reliable, relevant, or representative, then the accuracy of your model just doesn't matter. The model can only be as good as the data you feed it. Another minor critique I have is the usage of TensorFlow instead of PyTorch. Yes, TensorFlow is good, but I personally prefer PyTorch. However, the syntax is very transferable, so don't worry about that too much. I believe this is a very good introductory certification for those of you who are interested in the expanding field of machine learning and AI. Me, myself, I do have some background with machine learning, so some of the content was repetitive, but I do believe I got my money's worth. In fact, there are a lot of things that I learned from this course that I didn't learn from my formal education throughout my four-year degree program. However, I do wanna put a disclaimer that this certification alone will not get you a job. It definitely does help, but you still need to do most of the heavy lifting. As I mentioned before, most machine learning or AI roles require a lot of experience or some form of higher education. However, the skills I learned from this course definitely did help with my capstone project during my time as an intern. That capstone project specifically involved a lot of time series forecasting and also ensemble models. And this capstone project eventually helped me land the full-time job offer I got from the startup I was working at. If you want to learn more about that, I made a video talking about how I went from an intern to a full-time position in less than 90 days. So all the details will be in the description below. Overall, I think this course is definitely worth the money if you have the money to spare. Like I said before, if you're unable to afford it, you can definitely apply to one of the many scholarships that uh, Coursera offers. There are also other free alternatives like taking the YouTube version hosted by Stanford University. I also want to preface that this course doesn't give you all the tools of the trade, but it gives you enough for you to get started. If you want to get your hands dirty and expand your skills in machine learning, I recommend you check out the course Fast AI or read the book Dive Into Deep Learning. I'll leave a couple links down below for you guys to check them out. I also found this GitHub repo with a lot of free and useful resources if you guys want to check that out. There's also been a lot of buzz surrounding Andrew Ng's Deep Learning Specialization Certification, and I'll make a video on that once I've taken the course. Anyway, that's all I have for now. As always, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.